Welcome to the report from uh, Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about some of the new speak bullshit that's been floating about uh, during the COVID crisis. Um, one of the uh, favourite pet hate phrases that has been going around is, we're all in this together. That's a pile of fucking bullshit. Join me to discuss it tonight on Report from Tiger Mountain. We're all in this together, apparently, you know? All the world's wealthiest celebrities are trapped on their, you know, 20 acre estates with their swimming pools and their tennis courts and their indoor gyms and their, like, you know, bowling rinks and their tennis courts. And they're all in this together with us, you know? It's not nice that they've reminded us that they're all in this together. I've never heard a phrase that this made me literally want to throw up more than that bullshit. I mean, some people are trapped, I mean, inside their tiny apartments, you know, for weeks on end. And sometimes with a family of three or four people, they're probably going absolutely mad. You know what I mean? And here are these wealthy celebrities complaining, oh, you know, we've all just got to follow the government guidelines. It's once again, it shows the hypocrisy and the um, just absolute bullshit of the kind of Hollywood class that they're preaching this bullshit. And this, and this, this we're all in this together. It doesn't, it's not just something coming from the Hollywood elite. It's called, of course, it's coming from the ABC where they say that bullshit. Every day they say that bullshit. And it's not the only kind of newspeak load of crap um, that we've been getting during the COVID crisis. The other one is the new normal. That's another thing that makes you want to throw up. I mean, as if suddenly now that we are going to live like this forever because of like this virus that's maybe like a, a, an aggressive flu, um, we're going to live like this forever. We're going to constantly social distance. We're going to constantly have a little app on our phone just tracking us. I have a few friends who downloaded the app. They say it's incredibly annoying. You get all these fucking messages saying, oh, you know, you passed within a kilometre of somebody who had COVID. They say it's absolutely fucking annoying and they've uninstalled it after installing it so that's just a, you know and you see in parks there are little areas to, you know where you can go and you know that are socially distancing to me this looks more like um what they would require if they want to track you because obviously when you're tracking somebody if everybody's jammed close together you, you know the signals get mixed up they can't track you properly you know what i mean so people have said this whole agenda anyway is about tracking you properly for this future orwellian you know new world order state so you know i've definitely got this to say to uh, that whole fucking agenda and the, you know so we've got you know we're all in this together a load of fucking bullshit because that it completely depends on your your wealth you know your position i mean some people have had small businesses that have gone under during this crisis they're not all in us together you know what i mean i wasn't able to do my melbourne underground film festival this year because of this fucking crisis so i mean you know th there's a there's a an example of something that's gone under because of this crisis uh, I, i'll be back next year with it but like you know this year we had to cancel it so um it's unbelievable you know uh, and um and then the other one that we talk about oh they're constantly predicting the second wave or the second spike or the third spike i mean first of all how do they fucking know there is going to be one unless they plan to release the next level of the fucking bioweapon or god knows what they're up to you know what i mean like uh, this this whole event is so deeply suspicious i always say to people you know and people often come to me you know they say oh richard you're someone who believes in some conspiracy theories or whatever i i say to people now it's more how can you not believe in some conspiracy theory with all this going on, with all this nightmare um, that we've been thrown into? Um, we're heading into June now. God knows. I mean, the year's not even half over. And uh, God knows what the rest of 2020 has in store for us. But believe me, ladies and gentlemen, reject these bullshit slogans like we're all in this together. We aren't. Um, particularly the elite, they're in a complete world of their own and they're completely prepared for this. They've got their bunkers and God knows what. They've got more money than God, most of them. So they're completely protected from any, any threat during this crisis. The new normal, that's another load of bullshit and many other catchphrases like it. Reject it and we say, fight the good fight here on the report from Tiger Mountain.